Hello, my little honeybees. It's Jackie and Jackie's Cooking. And guys, today we are going to make a cute little sandwich. It's fried marinated pork chunks. It's also known as Glee on Haiti. And we are going to make it into a cute little sandwich with a nice, sweet chipotle mayo sauce. Okay, on some nice, lightly toasted bread. Oh my God, it's cute and it's simple. Let's get to work. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so. And don't forget to press that notification bell so you can get weekly updates on all of my recipes. Like and share my page. Let everybody know Jackie's cooking. So guys, we have our pork, which I've already cleaned and so forth. Um, you could find the video on how to clean pork in my videos. We have some mojo. We have our sour orange. We have our chipotle in adobo sauce. You could usually find these in the super, well, it's always in the supermarket. I love those. We have some black pepper. We have some general so cho sauce. Okay. Um, you could also substitute that for honey as well, okay? We have some sazon. We have some mayo. I love Hellman's. It's got to be in Hellman's. I'm sorry. Um, we have some oil. Of course, we need that for frying. Our chicken bouillon seasoning. And our green seasoning. Okay? That's also listed in in one of my videos on how to make it, okay? It's delicious. Okay, and we have some bread, some hamburger buns, of course, that we're gonna use. We have some cheese. Any cheese of your choice is good for this recipe. And some lime juice. Yes, indeed. Guys, the recipe will be listed. Well, it's actually listed in the description box below. Okay, so let's get to work. So I already cleaned up my pork. Okay, and we are now going to season this. Okay, so we're going to first put in our sazon. Our black pepper. Okay, now with the black pepper, um, I'm going to put the amount I use, but you could pull back if you feel it will be too spicy, or you could add more. It's up to you, okay? We're going to put in our delicious green seasoning, also known as epis. Or it could be also known as sofrito or slash recaito, okay? And that is like the base of our cooking in the Caribbean. Okay, we're going to put in our mojo. Mojo is like a marinade. Okay, it's a, a, a marinade with so many different different flavors. We're gonna use some sour orange as well. You can find both of these in in the international section of your supermarket. Okay. Now for our sour orange. Guys, if you can't find the sour orange or the mojo for any reason, you could use equal parts orange juice, freshly squeezed, or um, lime or lemon juice, okay? And we're going to put in our chicken bouillon seasoning. And we're going to give that a nice toss, nice mix. Make sure all our ingredients are um, well combined. 
Okay, so we're going to massage. Well, usually I would use my hands, but I wasn't using, I don't think I was using my hands at this time. So, um, I was using a spoon. But I like to use my hands when I cook, you know, just make sure your hands are well cleaned. Because um, for me, it just ensures me that my meat is being well massaged with all of those spices and herbs and seasonings. Okay, so I put the meat in a pot and I just added a little water. You don't have to, but a little, just a little bit of water. Um, and we're going to cook this on medium heat for about 45 to 55 minutes, okay? Keep an eye on it. If the water, um, if it doesn't have enough liquid, just add a little liquid into it. And just check on it from time to time. Okay, we want to make sure our meat is nice and tender. So guys, we're going to get to our simple, cute, delicious, chipotle, sweet chipotle mayo sauce. So we're going to need some mayo, some general cho, some black pepper, our chipotle peppers, and adobo sauce. You can easily find these in the supermarket. Some lime juice. And our green seasoning. Okay, um, guys, if you don't have the green seasoning, you could just get some simple cilantro um, for this. Um, because the green seasoning has a lot of cilantro. So, But if you don't have the green seasoning, just get some cilantro. Okay, so I'm going to use my little bullet here. You know, it's small. It's just for me and my husband. So we're going to add our mayo. Okay. Um, now, at this point, I'm going to start off with one of these peppers. See, I could stand heat, but... Um, I need you guys to learn how to start tasting your food when you cook. It's important to start tasting your food. So, um, I'm starting off with one. If you want to add two, you can. If you want to add a little bit less, you can. It's, it's all based on your palate, okay? We're going to add our lime juice. I'm going to add my general cho sauce. If you don't have that hand, a little bit of honey will do just fine. Again, the recipe is listed in the description box below. And this sauce, guys, is so good. Um, on a sandwich it really really is so it just gives it that extra little kick that extra little notch okay so we're going to add our green seasoning Okay, so I'm using my bullet because I'm only making enough sauce for me and my husband. Oh, yeah, and I had forgot to add, yes, of a black pepper. This is optional, okay? And it's just going to add that little extra kick. But again, that's optional, okay? So we're going to blend that together. And guys, this is what we're going to use to spread on both sides of the bread. But again, you'll see that later on. Okay, always remember to clean as you go. Okay. So again, I'm tasting it, guys, to see if it's missing anything, if I need to add anything. Okay. So 
So, um, while right here, um, I felt the sauce was a little too thin, so I added some more mayo. Okay? Um, just so it could have a little bit more body to it. And I added some more chipotle peppers. Because I feel like it needed more of that smoky heat in it. Um, that works well for me. But again, um, you could add as much as you want. As much heat as you feel you could take, or maybe you might not want that much. Just a smidgen of it, okay? So work it again according to your taste. Okay, so we're going to pulse it in our bullet. Clean as you go. A clean chicken, I'm a clean chicken. A clean kitchen is everything. Okay, see that? And once we pour that in the bowl, I'm going to put that in the fridge. Um, until we get our meat um, tender to the texture we want, then we gotta fry it, so that's gonna be in the fridge. And it's gonna get thicker again, too, once it's in the fridge. It's gonna get a little bit thicker. But I am satisfied with this texture. Okay, so now let's check on our meat. Okay, we want to see, um, check on the texture and guys I want to let you know something see this broth right here um, a lot of that water came from the meat as well don't throw that away okay reserve some of it um, because we're going to use a little bit of that later on with the meat okay so right now we want to check for tenderness of the meat Make sure that, you know, it's had a nice texture where it won't be chewy or what have you. So, again, this is what you have to taste. Okay. And, again, this broth here from the pork is good. Um, you could um, freeze the remainder of it and use it later on for probably when you're making a base for something. I don't know, stew or, or some kind of a... So you can use it in your base when I make rice and so forth, but it's really good. So the meat came to the right, is that is at the right texture. I'm tongue tied today. Is at the right texture. So it's about what 55 minutes. Okay. And now we're just taking the meat out of the pot. Again, I am going to reserve some of this broth for later use in this video. And this broth is very rich right now. It's very, very rich. Okay. Um, so, you know, nothing in the in my house goes to waste. You know, something like this, I'll take and I'll freeze it and I'll use it in something else. Okay. So it's a great broth. Okay. So we are now going to lightly, I like my bread lightly toasted. If you don't want your bread toasted, that's fine. But I'm going to lightly toast my bread. If you want, you could put a little bit of butter in the pan to toast it as well. But I just did it dry. I didn't put no oil or nothing. So I just did it just like that to lightly toast my buns. Okay. Okay, and this is what I was looking for. You know, simple, nothing complicated. Okay, we're going to set that to the side. All right, guys, so we are added. We're going to get some oil, and on medium heat, we are going to get our oil nice and hot, and then we're adding in our pork shoulder bonus chunks, okay? 
the meat was marinated or we boiled and part we put our little uh, we boil I'm sorry guys I don't know what's going on maybe I need some more sleep <laughs> okay so we're gonna um, add some more um, pork chunks to the pot and we're looking for a nice golden brown color okay we boiled it the flavors infuse themselves into the meat so the meat is nice and flavorful this here is what we call grill in Haiti which is another staple in Haiti which is fried pork okay and usually this is eaten with a like some kind of a uh, it could be eaten with fried plantains. It could be eaten with rice. And this is other little pickle slaw with, with cabbage and um, some hot pepper sauce. It's like a hot pepper, like a slaw, like a nice spicy vinegary slaw, which goes great with this. Okay, so you see that nice colored brown? That's what we want. And after I take them out, guys, I put them in a bowl. Okay, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with them next, okay? And, um, guys, as you're going to see soon while I'm adding these chunks, I decided to reach in my fridge and get some peppers and some onions. So I just stripped the peppers, cut them into strips, and cut the onions into slices. And I added them to the oil so they could fry as well. Okay, because I was like, oh, okay, let's do it. Because I'm a spontaneous kind of person. You know, it'll add a little bit more vaboom, a little bit more pizzazz to this nice little sandwich. Okay, some beautiful um, yellow peppers and some red onion. Color is so important in food because you know when you're presenting food and you have all these different colors it makes the food stand out okay so add color to your foods add color to your dishes don't be afraid to experiment you know you might want to add I don't know tomatoes I kept it a little bit simple as you'll see but if you want to add some other stuff to it um, when you're building your sandwich like lettuce and tomato you can, okay? I'm just giving you the basics of it. And from there, you take it and you fly. Fly with it. Make it your own. Okay, so now we're going to ensure that our... I'm adding the onions now. Okay, and we want to ensure that our meat is nice and brown. A beautiful brown color. And guys, if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. And don't forget to press that notification bell so you can get weekly updates on all of my dishes. Don't forget to press that like button and share. Okay? Let everybody know about Miss Jackie. Let everybody know Jackie's cooking. Jackie's always cooking. Okay, and just take your spoon, move that meat around, okay, from time to time. And we got it at that nice golden brown color, 
Okay, keep in mind that the meat was already cooked, boiled. Okay, so we just want to add that color to it, okay? So we're taking out our onions, our beautiful peppers, and the rest of our meat. All right, so guys, remember when I told you about the broth, like to reserve some of it? All you're gonna do is take a little bit, okay? You're not drowning it in the sauce, but just take all the thing you put and put it in a bowl, and all you need is that much, that's it. You don't need a lot, and we're tossing it, tossing the meat into that bowl. We're well, actually, we're tossing the broth into that meat, okay? So that's gonna add that extra flavor. All right, I'm all about flavor now. And doesn't that look nice and cute with the yellow and you have the red? That's what it's about. Flavor, flavor, flavor. All right, so now we're taking our toasted buns. Okay, so I took my um, chipotle sauce out of the fridge and we are going to dress both sides of the bun with this sauce. And what I like about the chipotle peppers, not just the heat, but it's that smoky flavor. So just imagine that smokiness in this sauce. It's, it's out of this world. And you can add as much sauce as you want. I'm being all cute with the sauce. Just smack it on there, you know. Um, add as much as you want. And make sure both sides of the buns are nice and... Um, have that sauce spread on both sides. Oops, made a little boo-boo. Impressed though, it's gone. <laughs> I swear the magic of editing. Okay, so I'm adding some American cheese. You could add any cheese of your preference. Any cheese that, uh, that tickles your fancy. If you wanna add Swiss, go ahead. American, provolone, whatever you choose. You don't have to add cheese at all. Again, at this point, guys, um, you could add lettuce, you could add tomato, um, build your sandwich. But um, my husband, you know, and I, we just wanted it a little bit simple, okay? So now we got our meat with our onions and peppers, and we are going, that's been tossed in that nice broth, okay? And we are going to put it on our cheese. They're back on there. Okay, put those peppers on there. Our onions, that's nice nicely sauteed mm, mm, I love sauteed onions and peppers okay and making sure each of the sandwiches are um have their share mind you this is for my husband he already told me he wanted three sandwiches so I was like all right
all right and topping it again at this point you could dress it with your lettuce tomato whatever suits your fancy okay and guys with this I made some um, fried some had some french fries put on the side and I put the little some sauce in a nice little um, little cuppy thing okay and it's so good with the fries it is so good guys enjoy this it's delicious love one another be peaceful let's do this enjoy